we have a little alien here. I met him and this was early 2011. It was when I was living in the block. I heard this little noise outside. It's like it sounded like something crashed. I look out my window and I see this little ship. And this little alien guy, he'd actually crashed his ship right into the side of where I was living. So I reached my hand out and I helped him in. I'm like, come on in. <clears throat> and, um, you know, he's been, um, with me ever since. I remember he would teach me stuff. As you can see, the alien depiction, the big head, that's because they have a lot of mental powers, things like telepathy. They have other senses, <clears throat> you know, that we don't. And one of the reasons they also, if you notice, they don't have ears. That's because they don't need them. And the, the mouth is very small because they don't use the mouth to communicate much. And the noses are kind of small too. But a lot of it's done through the power of the eyes. You know, they, they, they communicate telepathically. And that's how he communicates with me. You know, he eventually got his ship fixed. And um, he's, he goes on little flights throughout space. Like he'll go light years away. And he'll bend, you know, time, space. Thing. He'll bend time and space to get to things faster. You know, go out and you know, go out and see his alien friends. But you know, he always he comes back, and you know, <clears throat> been a roommate for a while. So we have a little alien here, and we also we have a little penguin. I first met this penguin. <clears throat> it was like late two thousand one. I was working at this grocery store, and up near, like, the U-scan, the main U-scan where the cashier sits, this little penguin was just sitting here. And I'm like, he must have, he must have, I, I, I believe he did come from Antarctica, you know, he wanted to start a new life, so. He was kind of lonely, like, so he came into the grocery store and sat up on the, um, near the U-scan thing, and I'm like, you could tell his head's a little misshapen, and his wing was a little off at one time, he's got the scarf on, um, I, you can tell he was a little he was definitely a little off, but that's what made him special. Now <clears throat> and he's been hanging out with me, living with me since um two thousand one, so I've had him for about seventeen years now. So these are some of my friends right here. <clears throat>